laser treatment for retinopathy of prematurity or ROP can be done successfully under topical anesthesia provided we pay attention to the details. 30 minutes before starting the laser, the baby is fed and burped to avoid hypoglycemia or vomiting. The child is wrapped well to avoid hypothermia. Laser is performed in a warm room equipped with resuscitation equipment and personnel on standby if the need were to arise. A pulse oximeter is attached to monitor the baby. The pupils are dilated using 1% tropicamide and 2.5% phenylephrine, two doses, 10 minutes apart. Topical paracaine eye drops are then instilled. We prefer to use the indirect ophthalmoscope delivery of diode laser of 810 nanometers. However, a 532 green double frequency laser can also be used in most cases. The initial laser settings on the console are 200 milliwatt power, 200 milliseconds duration and 300 milliseconds for repeat interval. These settings can be readjusted for individual eyes to achieve grey white burns of moderate intensity. These will vary according to the area of the retina being treated and choroidal pigmentation. An assistant gently restrains the baby during the laser procedure. Usually the baby does not have enough strength to move a lot if the weight is less than 1800 grams. For higher weight babies, general anesthesia would be needed in most cases. The laser surgeon should be experienced in adult laser therapy before embarking on ROP laser. The assistant and the surgeon are able to stabilize the small head and chin while doing the laser. The eyelids are kept apart by an appropriate pediatric speculum. The globe is both stabilized and indented using a via vectus as a depressor. A 20 diopter lens is used to focus the laser beam on the avascular retina. We usually start the laser in the temporal retina and then go around clockwise or anti-clockwise all around to cover the entire avascular retina up to the ridge. Constant hydration of the corneal surface is achieved by instilling drops of ringer lactate solution. If the laser takes too long, as is seen in the case of beginners, or in zone 1 ROP laser, the baby is fed after completing the laser on one eye and only then the laser of the next eye is taken up. In case the baby is too fragile to be removed from the incubator, the laser procedure can be done safely through the sloping wall of the incubator without disturbing the baby or making the baby uncomfortable in any way. Laser can also be done under general anesthesia if the equipment and expertise are available. However, in our experience of treating more than 500 ROP babies under topical anesthesia, we have found the procedure to be safe, effective and reasonably comfortable for the baby, the surgeon, the family and the neonatologist.